Battle of the Baltic Tea Candle. This, this is a confrontation on the seas between England and Denmark. England outpowers and a wise surrender is made that sends death into retreat. Remembrance is made, however, for those that have fallen and acknowledgement made of their faithful bravery. Battle of the Baltic Of Nelson and the North sing the glorious day's renown, when to battle fierce came forth all the might of Denmark's crown, and her arms along the deep proudly shone, by each gun the lighted brand in a bold determined hand, and the prince of all the land led them on. Like Levithans afloat lay their bulwarks on the brine, while the sign of battle flew on the lofty British line. It was ten of April morn by the chime, as they drifted on their path. There was silence deep as death, and the boldest held his breath for a time. But the might of England flushed to anticipate the scene, and her van the fleeter rushed o'er the deadly space between. Hearts of oak our captains cried when each gun from its adamantine lips spread a death shade round the ships like the hurricane eclipse of the sun. Again, 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 and the havoc did not slack till a feeble cheer the din who are cheering sent us back. Their shots along the deep slowly boom, then ceased, and all is wail, as they strike the shattered sail, or in conflagration pale, light the gloom. Out spoke the victor then, as he hailed them o'er the wave, Ye are brothers, ye are men, and we conquer but to save. So peace instead of death let us bring. But yield, proud foe, thy fleet with the crews at England's feet, and make submission meet to our king. Then Denmark blessed our chief, that he gave her wounds repose, and the sounds of joy and grief from her people wildly rose, as death withdrew his shades from the day, while the sun looked smiling bright o'er a wide and woeful sight, where the fires of funeral light died away. Now, joy, old England, raise for the tidings of thy might by the festal city's blaze whilst the wine cup shines in light. And yet amidst that joy and uproar, let us think of them that sleep, full many a fathom deep, by thy wild and stormy steep Elsinore. Brave hearts to Britain's pride, once so faithful and so true, on the deck of fame that died with the gallant good Ryu. Soft sigh the winds of heaven o'er their grave, while the billow mournful rolls and the mermaid's song condoles, singing glory to the souls of the brave.